Ok, guys, acumulo crypto here. Monday update, huh? Hmm. Bitcoin, Bitstamp, one hour. Nice. Oh, this is a. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta uh, step out of this, zoom out this thing, and uh, and be honest with ourselves that this is a really weird price action. Yeah. What's going on? I am considering that this is a viable likely count okay as i have been telling you guys this is what i'm counting this is how i am counting okay now we see that it tried to break uh, down this pitchfork okay this is the the original pitchfork and this line here that it has tried to break is the one okay it was hovering Yes, for the weekend uh, at least, yes, 29th, yes, for two days it was hovering around this 7176 seven, region, two, those two lines here, okay, which is an important region, of course. It has tried to break this median line in reaction, right? We would call this a wave two. If this is something, this would be a one, two, three, four, five, we would need to finish this wave three. I feel, and not only me, but I think you guys feel that as well, that something must happen, right? Well, we, we, something, uh, Bitcoin need to do something, a, a big move, yeah? And uh, <laughs> I presented yesterday some scenarios, yeah? This is one of my, this is, I can't call this my primary count, quite frankly. That, that this is yes this is the the same scenario but this is one hour this is the daily okay we would have as high as 7100 7200 right to go and this wouldn't be invalidated wave c here wave two could go as high as 7200 okay um nevertheless it's difficult to, to to say that this is going up or that this is not going up it's 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 a position that we are here that's a weird it, it, definitely weird right if we look at these i would say okay come on let's put some let's let's turn on some indicators to try to help us out right and zoom this thing to see what's going on Okay, taking a look at the indicators, let me change a little bit the color, the thickness. Let me turn off this one, this one here. Okay, basically, like I said, right, yesterday, the 200 EMA would be here. Yeah, confluent with the 8070, okay. Then we have what? We have the, the 100 EMA here. That is confluent with the 618, 65%, which is the, the sweet spot for our for a wave two. Okay, but now we have tried, not really tried to break the 55 EMA and failed. But yes, it, it has tried to get to the region of the 55 and failed. Now it ha it's up it's below the 21 EMA, as you can see here the, the blue line. Okay. Hmm. So it it's it a. This could be a wave two. This could be a, a retracement to get a, a an impulse to put in the first wave of this third wave here. Will remember we have a one two three four five. This wave two here. If this is a one, this is a two. Then we would have a three, four, and a five. We'll have something like this. Remember, this is the micro counting. Okay, inside of this one, we have something like this. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. I'm sorry, it's weird looking, but we need to change a little bit like this. We need to change the time 
Okay, something like this. Who knows, right? Who knows? Is it possible? Yes. Is it like? Is it likely? Of course. Yes, it's likely. Okay, we would have uh, something like this. Honestly, who knows? We might have any sort of a uh, motive impulse wave if we go up. If we have something like, if we break this this fifty percent again, if we break this. A wave here, which I'm, which I labeled A wave, but let's assume one thing: if we go up and break the seven eight, this resistance here, okay, seven eight uh, seven no sorry, six eight hundred, okay. If we break it, that's it. We are definitely this is the, the, that this has been a strong resistance. Remember, guys, this has been a strong resistance for a long time in June. We and uh, this was in August, this was in, in July, this was in June. We always try to break the 6800, so it's a significant region, okay? That's why I am labeling it a uh, resistance, and I would count it if we, if we go up again here and try to break it, probably we're gonna fail again, and that would be our first wave. Of this of this third wave here then it would have a two three four five would finish this third wave here okay who knows uh, this might be totally wrong and we go down okay so um, this is another option right it 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 has we are still counting this it's not impossible okay this W X Y I know I don't like this X here, I don't like it, but it's a viable count, and it's possible that we are gonna go up like seven to let seven to two hundred again, and going to finish the correction with this E wave here. Who knows? Okay, so this is another count that's pointing upwards, that's pointing uh, to a, a, a new high, right? A new local high. Here. See, this is a huge, huge dump, guys. This movement here has been corrected here, 50%. But is it enough? We need to ask ourselves, right? Okay, this is another triangle. I, ha I have proposed it yesterday. This is uh, Meta Vinci. Thanks, Meta Vinci, from our Discord group. He proposed this triangle, and it's, it's a triple combo, and we would have a triangle inside of this b wave here oopsie there's another one here inside of this b wave so it would have a zigzag a b c finishing this z and it would be finishing this b wave here inside of this z okay it's likely yes it we have a lot of um we would need to touch this trend line here i uh, again it's another count showing us that this one doesn't need to go as high as 7200 7, but at least 6800 6, 6, so it's another count guys showing us how important it is this region here this uh, 6800 okay this region what is it here right this region here is really important this resistance here pay attention to this resistance which is by the way 50 percent of this whole movement here fibonacci retracement okay from this top here to this low here it's 50 percent exactly where we have the 50 percent so this is gonna be a strong resistance because we are gonna have sellers that's gonna be looking to sell it here and buy it down here at the 5800 okay a viable target here an algo target okay if we, that's why i'm telling you guys if we break this resistance it's another story because you're gonna have uh, we're gonna have uh, algos that is that are gonna flip the the strategy instead of selling they're gonna buy it so you're gonna have a movement upwards okay 
Um, we have some kind of market acceptance here. No, we don't. We have some market acceptance here at the 61865 resistance. So if we go up here, as we don't have a lot of market acceptance here, who knows if we're gonna break through it and go and reach the next resistance, okay? So far, we we haven't uh, we have Bitcoin haven't given us more information, more data. So we are pretty much the way that we le that I left. We are pretty much in the same position that we were yesterday. Okay, so we need to wait. I am waiting to short it because I'm counting that Bitcoin is gonna go down. Okay, this is my oh yes, sorry. This is the the. The weekly chart, we finished the, the, the weekly chart, as I said yesterday, with this hammer, which, by the way, it, this is not, okay, you could argue that this is a bearish sign, but it's it, this is a, a, a the, the least bearish candle, right? Because we recovered all the way up, tried to, to, to touch this blue line here, and we went all the way up. And now we started at the bottom of it and we started putting, um, start dumping a little bit, but we, we, we try to, we are below all the EMAs, right? And we have here a, a possible crossing in the future, okay? The 21 EMA crossing, the 55 EMA crossing the 21. This would be a bearish sign that would give us uh, more confident confidence that this count like this count like this one would be in place. Okay, count. Uh, um, let me take this out. That we would be expecting those targets down here. Okay. Remember, four four thousand, three thousand viable counts. Here we have more. Here we have more targets, right? Five thousand fifty-seven hundred here, and so on. We have all those algo targets here, okay? And then, as I said yesterday, this pattern here of fifty percent retracement can 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 couldn't continue indefinitely. Yes, it's it's show, it's getting smaller and smaller. So I feel that something must happen, and if you are a bear, I, I am a, uh, how can I say, I, I don't know if I'm a bear or not, I am just watching the market closely and reacting. So I'm I neither, I'm neither, a, I'm neither, not, not a bear, nor a, a, a bull, I'm just waiting for, for it. I, I think that we have more data showing us that Bitcoin has uh, a selling pressure going down here. On the other hand, we have a lot of uh, analysts, a lot of sentiment telling us that Bitcoin has finished it. So you have both cases, guys. Yes, that's the market. Are we going to finish like this? Something like this? A triangle we have? Indeed, we might be... Uh, inside of this triangle until the end of the year this e here this e wave here can not just wait until december you know we, it's not impossible guys to have something like this and uh, or uh, a e wave that goes sideways you know we would have a, a smaller kind of movement because it's it's gonna be uh even more sideways movement, but it's gonna take its time. Remember, as I have been talking to you guys, we are correcting in time. We are now, uh, I'm sorry, this is the 1st October, 289 days correcting, guys. So we need to be patient, we need to wait, okay? That's it. Um, thank you very much for watching again. Thanks for all the support. If you like, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you haven't joined us yet in our Discord, our server Discord, 
it's an amazing place where you can learn a lot. We have different analysts there. They give different opinions. So we are always contributing to a better view of trying to figuring out what's going on. Okay. And if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please <laughs> consider doing so. Um, that's it. Uh, we see each other tomorrow and have a wonderful day. Enjoy our trades. Cheers.